Tapati Māori says the new government's policies are an assault on tangata whenua and te tiriti or waitangi. Well, from the new government, New Zealand First Deputy Leader and Cabinet Minister Shane Jones joins us this morning. Thanks for being with us, uh, Minister. Can you just let me know, have you spoken with anybody from Tapati Māori since you've heard of these uh, protest plans? Yeah, look, a lot of the people that voted for the uh, Māori Party um, aren't even Māori. The 2.83% who voted for the Māori Party, a number of them are people I know who are Pākehā, and uh, they're horrified that this level of disruptiveness is going to be visited upon the motorways and other places where the Māori Party is threatening to, um, to make their displeasure felt. Have you spoken to anybody from within the, par the party them itself? No, 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 no. They are all well known to me. <clears throat> and at the end of the day, we're professional politicians. And uh, I'm just very disappointed that they're trampling on democracy. And I really want them not only to learn our, to keep uh, the knowledge of our te reo intact, but learn a, <clears throat> learn a Greek word. And that word's called democracy. And our martyrs from the Maori Battalion actually fought in Greece to uphold, amongst other things, the tenets of democracy. And today the Māori Party seem to believe, with this tantrum-like behaviour, that democracy doesn't count for anything. Does democracy not include the right to protest? Uh, democracy <clears throat> is built on some ancient traditions, not the least of which is the Bill of Rights from 1688 and the Magna Carta from the 12th century. And to pretend that the Māori Party are the guardians of the Treaty of Waitangi and other people of Māori descent in politics have no legitimacy is something I utterly reject. Te Pāti Māori have uh, said that a, a range of things which have been agreed to by the coalition government are what they say is racist and state-sponsored terrorism. What do you make of those terms? I think it's deeply objectionable that they've advertised today's protest with, a, with an advertisement that shows two cock pistols, two guns, as if they're carrying out the tradition of multi tung that uh, power comes out the barrel of a gun. Now, that particular advertisement is not only very dangerous in light of the, of the spread of the gangs and the Māori community, which is something we need to stamp out, but I feel that they've been given a cultural pass for far too long, and even indeed the media, quite apart from other politicians, have been afraid to take them on and point out that these excesses are foreign to the political culture of New Zealand. Well, they've met their day in myself and my leader, Winston Peters.